Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com and this is your weekly top five for October 23rd. At number five this week, we have the story about when my open source intern project went global. In traditional organizations, a new employee or intern may be given rote tasks or maybe even be ignored. In this article, however, a Red Hat intern tells a different story about how his idea went global. At number four, we have celebrating the success of LibreOffice in Denmark. Are you curious about the LibreOffice conference? Well, this year's was held in Denmark, and Rajesh Ranjan, an opensource.com writer, reports. At number three, how open source took me from a beginner coder to a credited contributor. Scott Jenner shares his open source story about attending a free software workshop that helped him make meaningful contributions to open source software. At number two, Sonic Pi uses code to compose a dance party. Sonic Pi is an open source live coding synthesizer that lets people use code to compose and perform their own music. Get more in this interview with its creator, Sam Aaron. And finally, at number one, Linux is about choice, control, and learning something new. Tony Morrow tells his Linux story about why he defaults to Linux and open source software for his personal and his business needs. That's it for our top five this week, everybody. Thanks for joining me, and you can find all of the top fives on our YouTube channel and our article with more information on the site every Friday. See you next time.